So one of the viewers here asked if I would do a video and talk some about oversharing about the narcissist to others and the anxiety that comes afterward once you have overshared. So yes, let's talk about that. My name is Lisa Gallucci and I'm here to help you with all things regarding healing from understanding and anything related to toxic relationships and narcissistic people. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's talk about this right now. So oversharing. First of all, what are we looking for when we're oversharing? Most of us are oversharing for some, for a few reasons, right? One is for the validation to to just hear that you're not crazy, to just have the sense that other people see what's happened, to share the information so that people know where you are and what you're what you might be triggered by, so that people know what you've been through, so that people will sympathize or empathize with you about the situation, not so that you get attention so much as it, so that you have someone that can validate for you the crazy that you're feeling from what you just went through so that you can have someone say to you yeah i get it i've been there or wow that sounds insane how did you even live through that or wow you experienced that tell me more about it so that you have a sense of your own reality in check because what's happened is you've been You've been told that what you're feeling isn't real. You've had someone gaslight you. You've had someone deny your reality and deny your truth and push the blame back onto you. You have gone into a state of cognitive dissonance where you feel like you know you don't want to be with the person, but you love them. You're confused. You're in, you're in all kinds of states of confusion often when you are a person who is out there just trying to be heard okay you've also spent a lot of time most likely not being heard not being listened to about the things in your own relationship with this person that are going on that are upsetting you that are hurting you and things like that so so yeah the need to express yourself and to tell your story and to be heard it's it's real for a lot of people and the oversharing happens sometimes from anxiety sometimes from not knowing what else to talk about sometimes because we're so fixed on what we're going through that we are just in a constant state of processing in a constant state of of trying to make sense of and understand what we just lived through. I mean, th those are some of the reasons why I think it, it happens right and, and some very valid reasons. So that's kind of why it's important to have a support group to have a group of people who get it who have been through it. It's not so that we can sit around and complain about narcissists. Okay, we could do that all day long and yeah, what does that get us? It doesn't get us healing, not, not for long. It does get us somewhere to at least have someone that gets it, but it's beyond that. Having someone that truly has been there, someone that truly gets it, reflect back to you what you've experienced because you're in a state of confusion, you're in a state of cognitive dissonance, you're in a state of being completely gaslit so that you don't know if what you experienced was even a valid thing, right? So that's part of why we're doing the oversharing and part of why we need particular support groups to have a place to share. Okay. Um, when you're oversharing in your life, I'd ask the question, do you have someone to talk to you? Do you have someone to process this with? Have you reached out to a coach or to a therapist to really work through this stuff or to at least be heard and to at least have the experience of the validation one-on-one? -on -one? If not, that might be an avenue that's helpful and useful to you. If that's something you can't or do not wish to do, there's group coaching options for that very same thing. And if that is also something that is not interesting to you, there is peer support. Okay, so find in the main description of this video, and every video you can find links to those options through me if not through me go out and find it through someone else find it through someone whose voice resonates with you and that you feel gets your gets your story and could understand you because oversharing with people in the general public it does create anxiety and why because you're you're really giving people information that isn't their business you're really giving your personal experiences and information to people who aren't asking right and people who aren't um aren't able to be there for you in a way that you need okay and the anxiety i'm sure it comes for different reasons for different people when they have experienced oversharing um but one main reason is people don't get it right and people when they do get it without having experienced it they might understand it and feel empathy for you but they don't know what to say or how to 
fix what's going on for you or how to help you. Um, and so, yeah, that would be make you anxious if you're oversharing in like the dating world when you're trying to get back out there and date or meeting new friends type of situations and you're oversharing. Well, you're talking about something really negative in a situation that has nothing to do with that other person. So it makes sense that it would feel anxious or uncomfortable, right? Because that's not the time or place for it, so to speak. In other words, oversharing with someone brand new in your life, you don't know them. You, How can you trust that the information you're giving them won't be turned against you? How can you trust that the information you're giving them won't be used in some other way? And also, is it really their information to have at this point in time? Is that really where this comp is that really what you want to be bonding on? Is that really what you want to be connecting and communicating about with someone brand new? So there's lots of reasons it can feel uncomfortable and lots of reasons where, where the oversharing and the inability to just stop it is just because you don't have a place to funnel all of this. So if you don't like the group coaching or the coaching or the therapy or whatever it is, get into a peer support group. If you don't want to do that route, journal it write it down for yourself start analyzing what you're writing down so that you can see that yeah this was my truth this is what i lived try to resist oversharing if you feel uncomfortable and it is appropriate for your life if you feel like it is oversharing not just sharing okay over and over again and you see where it is causing problems for you try to resist it by asking yourself okay what did i need from that what did I need from that? And how can I fulfill that need in other ways so that I'm not doing this oversharing, which is making me anxious and uncomfortable, all right? Um, and I think this is a topic that happens to people and it's really hard to talk about here without going back and forth. So I'm gonna end this now. And if you have any questions about it, if you have any personal experience with it, if you have anything you wanna add to this, if you agree, if you disagree, let me know so that we can keep talking because this is an important topic. A lot of people go through this, but it is really one that is better with some exchange. Does that make sense? It's better if we have the back and forth. So let me know what you think, or if you've experienced this, if, if you want to, and, and um, we'll talk some more or we'll talk in the comments. You guys take care. If you, again, coaching, group coaching or anything like that, check out the main description, thumbs up, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.